what's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you a couple of fixes that you can try and use if for some reason your Epic Games launcher isn't opening up at all. Basically, you open it up and it's a black screen or something along those lines, you're not able to interact with it. This is the exact video that you're looking for. So to begin, before you even go ahead and try to launch up the actual application itself, what we can do is try and clear the launcher's cache. Hold start, press R and inside of this window over here, type in percentage local app data percentage and hit enter. Then when this new window appears, simply click anywhere on the screen and press E to jump down to E. We'll be opening up the Epic Games Launcher folder over here. Then head into saved and simply locate the web cache underscore followed by a bunch of numbers folder. Then select it and hit delete. Of course, if you have multiple, you can safely delete all of them. That folder was 440 megs, so it might also be a good way to save on some disk space. Anyway, let's go ahead and fire up Epic Games once again. And more than likely at this point, if you're required to log in and you do, you'll be dropped into the main menu where you're able to interact with the program as usual. Otherwise, you may be stuck on a gray screen similar to what we just saw there. Let's assume that that didn't work. What else can we try? It might be an issue with your graphics card or how Windows is displaying the program. Right click your desktop and click display settings. Then inside of this new window over here, scroll down and locate graphics settings. Click it and in this new window, scroll down once again until you find graphics performance preference. Select desktop app from the drop down and then click browse. Now all we're going to do is navigate across to the Epic Games launcher folder. So for me, it's in C drive, program files 86 and then Epic Games, Launcher, Engine, Binaries, Win64, and finally we've landed up at the Epic Games Launcher. If for some reason you're on a 32-bit computer, go back and enter the Win32 folder over here and use this one instead. But I'm on Win64, I'll select this one and then click Add. When it's added to the list, make sure to click Options and then choose Power Saving. If you are on a laptop with multiple graphics cards, i.e. a dedicated graphics card and an integrated graphics card, using the power saving option should use the integrated graphics card, meaning that there shouldn't be issues. You might also receive this issue if you're using something like OBS, you may have already done this for other software. Closing out of that, what do we do if it's still not working? It might be something to do with your DPI settings. Simply hit start and locate the Epic Games shortcut if you have it pinned or in the start list over here, or even on your desktop. If you have it on your desktop, right click and then click properties. Otherwise, if it's in your start menu instead, right click the actual icon itself, either here or on this list, hover over more and then click open file location. Then you'll be taken across to the start menu folder with the Epic Games shortcut inside of it. Right click properties here instead and inside of this new properties window, head across to the compatibility tab and make sure to click change high DPI settings at the bottom. When you see this window over here, simply make sure to check the box for overriding high DPI scaling behavior and then leave it as the application option over here. Hit OK, apply and OK. At this point, you should be able to simply launch up the Epic Games Launcher. It'll appear on your screen and you'll be able to use it as normal. But anyways, that's about it for this really quick tutorial guide. Hopefully this helped you find the solution to the issue that you're having. My name is Win Technoba here for Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.